Om Shanti. Today is Sunday, the 12th of November 2023. On this Sunday morning, let us listen to the Avyakt Bab Dada's Murli, which was originally held on 22nd of March 1996. The essence of today's Avyakt Murli is the personality of Brahmin life is to go beyond all questions and be constantly satisfied. Essence once again, Baba says the personality of Brahmin life is to go beyond all questions and be constantly satisfied. Om Shanti. Today, Bab Dada, the bestower of all attainments, is seeing all his children who are embodiments of full attainment. You have had a lot of attainments from Bab Dada, and if you were to make a list of them, it would be a very long list and so instead of speaking about the long list you simply say nothing is lacking in this brahmin life so what do we do instead of listing out all our attainments we simply say nothing is lacking in this brahmin life so bab dada is seeing that you have a lot of attainments it is a long list is it not what would be the sign in the practical lives of those who have all attainments? You know this, do you not? The sign of all attainments is that the personality of satisfaction would be constantly visible on one's face and in one's activities. What is the sign of all attainments which Baba is saying? Baba says the sign of all attainments is that the personality of satisfaction would be constantly visible on one's face and in one's activities. It is the personality that attracts someone. So, the sign of all attainments is the personality of satisfaction, which can also be called contentment. However, the sparkle of satisfaction that should be constantly visible on their faces is not visible. Sometimes they are satisfied, prasannachit, and sometimes they have questions, prashnachit. There are two types of children. One type is those who are embodiments of questions and ask why, what, how, when, as soon as a situation arises. They are those who are embodiments of questions and the other type is those who are constantly embodiments of attainment. That is, they are completely satisfied. They would never have any questions about anything because they are full of all attainments. So the questions why, what cause fluctuation and those who are full never fluctuate. Something that is empty is unsteady. Baba says something that is empty is unsteady. So ask yourself, do I remain constantly satisfied? Not just sometimes but constantly. Would those who are 10 years in knowledge be this constantly or not? You are not saying yes. Are you still thinking about it? If there is a lack of satisfaction, it means there is a lack of attainment. And a lack of attainment means that one desire or another still remains. The foundation of jealousy is some desire and a lack of attainment. Baba says very subtle desires pull you to some lack of attainment and then in a royal language you say it isn't my desire but if it happens it would be good. However, where there are temporary desires there cannot be anything good there. So what is Baba saying? Where there are temporary desires there cannot be anything good there. So check whether there is any royal form of desires in your life on the path of this knowledge or whether there are gross desires. It has been seen that gross desires have now finished but even after this knowledge royal desires still remain in a subtle form. So check these. Bab Dada now wishes to make all of you children full and perfect the same as the father. Whoever you have love for it is not difficult to become the same as that one. So what is Baba saying? Whoever you have love for, it is not difficult to become the same as that one. 
Now Baba is asking us a question. Do you have a lot of love for Bab Dada or do you simply have love? Everyone says a lot of love. Are you sure? So is it a big thing to renounce something or to transform something out of love? Everyone says it isn't. So has your renunciation been complete? Baba is asking us. Have you done what the father wants and what he has asked you to do all the time? It will not do to do just this sometimes. It will not do to do this just sometimes. Do you wish to claim the fortune of the kingdom for all time or for just some time? You wish to claim it for all time, do you not? So, let there constantly be satisfaction. Let no other feeling be visible on your faces or in your activity. Sometimes it is said, today this sister's or this brother's mood is different. You yourselves also sometimes say, today my mood is different. What would you call this? Is that constant satisfaction? Many children experience satisfaction, prasannata, on the basis of their praise, prashansa. However, that satisfaction is temporary. So what is Baba telling us? Satisfaction on the basis of praise is temporary. Many children experience satisfaction, prasannata, on the basis of their praise, prashansa. However, that satisfaction is temporary. Today they would have that satisfaction, but it would finish after some time. Also check that your satisfaction is not based on any praise. This is the same as when they construct buildings nowadays. They use a little bit more sand than cement in them. It is mixed. It is the same here. The foundation is mixed. It is not accurate. Then, if there is the slightest form of any adverse situation or any type of fluctuation, it finishes your satisfaction. You do not have such a foundation, do you? Baba is asking us. Bab Dada also had told you earlier and he is now underlining it that the royal form of desire is name regard and honor. What is the royal form of desire? Name, regard and honor. Baba says you might take the support of service and you want to have your name glorified in the service you do. However, the thing about those who do service while chasing after a name is that although they are very serviceable and attract others very well, they only have their names glorified for a temporary period. Those who do service on the basis of earning a name make their names go to the back of the list of those who are to claim a high status because they eat the unripe fruit which will never ripen. So how can you eat the ripe fruit if you have already eaten the unripe fruit? Baba asks us how can you eat the ripe fruit if you have already eaten the unripe fruit? You did service and earned a name that is unripe fruit or you have a desire I did a lot of service and I am an instrument for doing the most service so those who do have a desire I did a lot of service and I am an instrument for doing the most service Baba says so those who do service on the basis of earning a name are those who eat unripe fruit can there be any strength in unripe fruit you think, I did so much service and so I should receive regard as a result. That is not regard, man, but arrogance, abhiman. So what is Baba saying? When we think that I did so much service and so I should receive regard as a result, that is not man, but abhiman. Where there is arrogance, there cannot be any satisfaction. The greatest honor is to receive honor in Bab Dada's heart. Even if you receive honor in the hearts of other souls, those souls are those who receive or are master bestowers, not the bestower. What is Baba saying? Even if you receive honor in the hearts of other souls, those souls are those who receive or are master bestowers, not the bestower. So if you wish to receive honor, then Constantly receive your honor in Bab Dada's heart. All of those royal desires do not allow you to become 
embodiments of attainment and the personality of satisfaction is therefore not constantly visible on your face or in your activity. If in any situation your mood of situation changes then that is not permanent satisfaction. Let's hear that again. Baba says if in any situation your mood of satisfaction changes then that is not permanent satisfaction. The mood of Brahmin life is to be constantly cheerful and careful. Do not change your mood. What is the mood of Brahmin life? Baba says the mood of Brahmin life is to be constantly cheerful and careful. Do not change your mood. However, in royal words you say, today I want solitude. Why do you need this? You want to step away from doing service or being with the family? And you say that you want peace and solitude. Today my mood is like this. So do not change your mood. There may be some reason. But are you those who change the reason into a solution? Or those who get caught up in the reasons? Baba is asking. You are those who find solutions. What contract have you taken? You are contractors, are you not? So what contract have you taken? That you will even change the mood of the elements. You also have to change the elements. So, can those who change the elements not change their moods? Does your mood change or not? Baba is asking us. Do you sometimes change your mood? You then say that you would like to go and sit by the ocean. Not the ocean of knowledge, but a physical ocean. You foreigners do this, do you not? Or would you say, I don't know why, but today I feel very lonely. So, where did the combined form of the father go? Did you separate yourself from him? You become separated from being combined. Is this called love? In fact, being in an off mood is sometimes very serious. But even to keep changing your mood is not good. Those who have an off mood show a variety of games. Bab Dada sees that they show many games to their seniors and even their companions. Do not play such games because Bab Dada has a lot of love for all the children. It is not that Bab Dada just wants the special instrument souls to become the same as the father and is not concerned whether others become that or not. No, Bab Dada has to make everyone equal. This is Bab Dada's love. Baba asks, do you know how to give the response of love or do you give the return of this with your mischievous games? Baba is asking us the difference between response and return. So Baba is asking us, do you know how to give the response of love or do you give the return of this with your mischievous games? Sometimes you show mischievous games and sometimes you show a response by being equal. That time has now finished. Now Baba is telling us about the Diamond Jubilee. We should remember that this Murli was held on 22nd of March 1996. Baba says you are now celebrating the Diamond Jubilee, are you not? After 60 years, you generally start the age of retirement. You are no longer small children, but are in a stage of retirement. That is, you are experienced souls who know everything. Knowledgeful, powerful and successful. What kind of souls are we? Knowledgeful, powerful and successful. So Baba asks us, just as you are constantly knowledgeful, so too you are powerful and successful. Are you not? Why are you sometimes not successful? What is the reason for this? In fact, success is the birthright of all of you. You say this, do you not? Do you just say it? Or do you also believe it? So, why do you not experience success? What is the reason for this, since it is your birthright? So, why do you lack attaining this right or experiencing it? Baba asks us, what is the reason for this? Bab Dada has seen that the majority of you allow weak thoughts to emerge in advance. What do we do? We allow weak thoughts to emerge in advance. I don't know if this will happen or not. 
these weak thoughts of yours do not allow you to become an embodiment of satisfaction but make you an embodiment of questions will it happen will it not happen what will happen i don't know if these thoughts become a wall and success gets hidden behind this wall your slogan is one whose intellect has faith is victorious what is our slogan one whose intellect has faith is victorious since this is the slogan of this time it is for the present and not the future since this is the slogan for the present time what should you remain at all times satisfied or full of questions so maya spreads a web of your own weak thoughts and you become trapped in your own web finish that web of weak thoughts with this awareness i am victorious what should we do baba says finish that web of weak thoughts with this awareness i am victorious do not become trapped in it but finish it do you have the power to finish it do not finish it slowly but do it instantly in a second do not allow this web to grow once you become trapped in this web it will be very difficult to leave it victory is my birthright success is my birthright this birthright is a godly birthright which no one can snatch away from me those whose intellects have such faith would easily and automatically remain constantly satisfied they would not need to work hard for this now baba is giving us the second reason for the lack of success baba asks what is the second reason for a lack of success you yourself tell others to use their time thoughts and wealth in a worthwhile way to use something in a worthwhile way means to attain success let's hear that again to use something in a worthwhile way means to attain success the basis of success is to use everything in a worthwhile way if you do not attain success it is because you are not using one treasure or another in a worthwhile way that is why you don't attain success there are many treasures and you know the list of all treasures do you not so check which treasure it was that you did not use in a worthwhile way and just wasted you will then automatically attain success this is an inheritance and also a blessing use everything in a worthwhile way and attain success do you know how to use everything in a worthwhile way or not do you then attain success to use something in a worthwhile way is the seed and success is its fruit let's hear this beautiful line again baba says to use something in a worthwhile way is the seed and success is its fruit if the seed is good it is not possible for you to not attain any fruit from it there must be something lacking in the seed of using everything in a worthwhile way because that is why you do not attain the fruit of success so what do you have to do constantly maintain your personality of satisfaction what do we have to do constantly maintain our personality of satisfaction those who are satisfied will have very good experiences in fact when you see those who are satisfied they seem to be so beautiful it feels so good to be in their company and to sit and talk to them whereas if someone who asks many questions were to come you would become fed up so keep the aim of what it is that you have to become what is baba telling us keep the aim of what it is that you have to become do not be one who asks many questions but one who is satisfied now baba says today is the last day of the season and so what is done finally on the last day when people create a sacrificial fire what do they do they sacrifice everything so what will you do sacrifice being embodiments of questions why does this happen what is happening no since you are knowledgeful there shouldn't be any questions of why or what so from today sacrifice all of those wasteful questions baba says your time and the time of others will also be saved the time of the dadis is also spent in this 
why is this like this what is this how is it possible so save this time save your own time and also that of others accumulate in your savings account then eat drink and live in comfort for 21 births you will not have to accumulate anything there so have you sacrificed this or will you still think about it if you want to think about it you may do so ask yourselves how will this be possible will i be able to do this or not just think about this for a minute complete this task very well ask yourselves as many questions as you want in a minute have you asked yourselves did you also sacrifice them or did you just ask the questions baba asks us did you also sacrifice them or did you just ask the questions did you finish all the questions for the future after 1 minute of silence baba again asks have you finished them everyone says han ji do not just say yes for the sake of it you have experienced over a long period of time that to ask questions means to become distressed and to distress others therefore maintain the honor of your faith and your birthright and you will not become distressed baba says when you disregard honor you then become distressed when you disregard honor you then become distressed do you understand do you understand this clearly baba asks or do you say that you understand it now but when you return abroad you will say that it is difficult it is not like this is it acha is the lesson of becoming bodiless in a second firm go into the expansion one moment and merge yourself into the essence in the next now bab dada conducted the drill acha constantly keep this practice with you to all the souls in all directions who transform themselves from being embodiment of questions to the elevated souls who constantly have the personality of being satisfied to the souls who are aware of their victory and their birthright to the special souls who are embodiments of remembrance to the souls who use everything in a worthwhile way and thereby easily attain success to the souls who are close to the father pap dada's love remembrance and namaste and we the spiritual children also say namaste to our spiritual father baba also says to the double foreign children in all directions who are over 10 years in gyan special congratulations love and remembrance to them bab dada is now meeting the dadis bab dada constantly has the thought for you instrument souls who are making the crown of the family may you live eternally may you constantly fly and make others fly you are making your bodies work with the power of tapasya and bab dada has even more concern than you have therefore now according to the time do not have fast tours go comfortably and come back comfortably bab dada is telling the dadis go comfortably and come back comfortably now situations of the world are also changing fast bab dada is not forbidding you to do service but telling you to keep a balance everyone's life is in your bodies of the dadis if your bodies are well then good service can take place therefore do a lot of service but do not push yourself push yourself a little what happens when you push yourself too much the battery gets low therefore from now on it is essential to keep a balance do not think let me do it this year because i do not know what is going to happen next year no you have to live and make others fly this is now your parts is it not so understand your parts and then push yourselves but push yourselves while keeping a balance so bab dada is even telling the dadis understand your parts and then push yourselves but push yourselves while keeping a balance okay do not make a fast program of being in one place for two days and on the third day you have to be somewhere else no it is not the time for that yet when such a time comes you will have to go to four different places in one day but not yet 
acha so after being concerned for the dadis bab dada now gives us the blessing may you be a contented soul who brings out divine virtues by putting the offering of all your defects into the sacrificial fire blessing once again may you be a contented soul who brings out divine virtues by putting the offering of all your defects into the sacrificial fire baba explains on dipavali special attention is paid to cleanliness and to earning an income similarly you have to keep the aim of having cleanliness in every way and also of earning an income and becoming a contented soul it is only with contentment that you are able to bring out all your divine virtues the offering of defects will then be made automatically finish weaknesses deficiencies feelings of being powerless and any delicate nature that remain within you and now open a new account put on the new clothes of new sanskars and celebrate the true dipavali finally the slogan for today be obedient to the father and at the right time blessings will continue to help you in an incognito way slogan once again be obedient to the father and at the right time blessings will continue to help you in an incognito way अच्छा ओम शांति